Hey kids, Miss Squire here again. I've got another math lesson, and now we're going to take fractions and move them into word problems. Sing. Oh yeah, I love word problems. All right, so let's do our objective together. I can solve fraction word problems in many ways. All right, let's go ahead and do those EQs. How can you solve word problems? And what is the best math strategy? Remember, we're gonna use what works for you. All right, so I'm gonna show you a reminder on the cubes method. So we have used this before in class. Say, oh, I remember this. Oh, it's all coming back to me. <laughs> all right, so let's uh, talk about the cubes method. So for this method, we um, these are the steps we take to solve a word problem and break it down. So the first one is circle the key numbers. The next one is underline the question. Box out any math action words and evaluate what steps should I take and solve and check your work to make sure it makes sense. Make sure your answer makes sense and is not something totally wild way out there and like, whoop. Okay, so we're going to take, um, I'm going to take you through two math word problems for fractions and um, we're going to just try this out and see how uh, we do and I Use your name from this class to make it more fun. So the first one is with Oliver. All right, Oliver, you sliced the cake into six equal pieces. And then he ate two of those pieces. What fraction is left? So I'm going to take you through the cubes method of this problem. So remember, our first thing is what? Oh, yes. Circle the key numbers. So that's what we did, circles the six and the two. Remember, if there are some other numbers in there that don't have anything to do with the problem, don't circle those. Only the key numbers that are going to help us. All right, let's try the next one. It's underline, I'm sorry, underline, I was drawing a U. Underline the question. So our question right down here is what fraction is left? That tells us what are we trying to figure out, right? All right, and the next thing in cubes method is the what? Oh, yeah, the B for box it out. So we're going to box out the key important word, which was left. I also could have boxed out the word eight, too, because that tells me we're not getting more pieces. We're taking them away, right? All right, so let's take a look at how I did this. So what I did is I solved this by drawing a picture of that fraction. I draw a picture of that cake. And it's a pie cake. <laughs> uh, let's say it's a cheesecake. Oh, yeah. Cheesecake, cheesecake factory. Here we go, Oliver. All right. So we um, go ahead and we slice. He sliced that into six pieces. And he ate two of them and gave the rest to Miss McGuire because she loves cheesecake. All right. And our fraction, after we have done that, is going to be four six which was left i'm not asking you how much he ate i'm asking you how much was left okay now you got to pay attention real carefully to that question so let's go back real quick it says what fraction is left i'm not asking you again what he ate i'm asking you what was left so that would be the stuff that's not shaded in a little bit tricky but pay attention carefully to those words so four six remember you gotta have that th on the end there for that denominator four six all right. All right, let's try another one with Elena. All right, Elena, here we go. This one is dedicated to you. <laughs> All right, Elena's got a candy bar here. So Elena slides a candy bar into three. Oh, cannot see that. <laughs> three equal pieces. And then she ate two pieces. How much is the can of the candy bars left? So what we're going to do is we're going to use cubes. Oh, yes, we know that so well. All right, so first thing, the C stands for circle. You got it. Good job, guys. Circle the important numbers, key numbers, three and two. Um, and then we're going to also do underline the question. How much of the candy bar is left? There we go. And the next one is? B for box it out. Yeah, great job, guys. Good remembering. Say, I'm so smart. Smarter pants. Dance and you smarter pants. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so uh, this number is left right here. Left. That tells us that we are going to take away. We're not getting more pieces of candy. We're taking them away because she ate them, right? You could have also boxed out the word eight. All right, so listen, what we did here, we drew a picture of that candy bar. 
and then we divided it equally in two thirds. Remember, we're not going to give Miss Aurora a tiny piece, or we're going to share it nicely. So, and I did notice that I have the wrong fraction here because looking back at our word problem, we're wondering how much of the candy bar is left. So this is not the right thing. My bad, guys. This is going to be, I'm just going to make a checkbox here, two-thirds, guys, two-thirds. Even teachers make mistakes. And so we're going to say how much left is two-thirds. And she ate one-third of that, okay? And this is how much she ate. And we want to know how much is left. She's got two pieces left that she can share with me. Thank you so much, Elena. You are amazing. <laughs> All right, guys. So be careful in the wording on that. Um, even messed me up on the end there, unfortunately. Um, but remember, if it has how much is left, we're going to take a look at whatever is left that she didn't eat, okay? All right, guys. Let's go ahead and do our challenge. So your challenge, you're going to go to Google Classroom. Say, I know how to get there. Go to Google Classroom. Once you're there, click on 4-15 Fraction Word Problem. 4-15 um, Today's Challenge is first. And then within there, you're going to find your Fraction Word Problem um, practice. So you're going to try the word problems on your own. There's three of them. And remember to use cubes to help you. Let's see if we can make a cube. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, um, so I'm going to show you what it looks like real quick in your view. Um, so fraction word problems right here. So it tells you to write your name, and then it has your guys' na your names, not your guys', your names on there for you. I picked a few of your friends in our class, and you're going to um, do these three word problems about a pie, about Skittles, and about cupcakes. And at the end, a just for fun question about what's my favorite pie that you can't get. All right, and then um, go ahead and click this button where it says submit, and you're done. You don't have to do anything in Google Classroom. You just have to press submit here, and it will tell me that you're done with that. You do not have to press turn in in Classroom. Um, and uh, be careful on this problem with Benjamin and Charlotte because those are kind of a two-step type problem. So you're going to want to have to pay attention very carefully to um, what they're asking and the underline that question and figure out what are they asking me in this question. You might need some help on those ones. A little bit tricky because those ones are challenging your mind. I want to see what you can do, boys and girls. All right. Um, that's it for me today. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching. And you have an um, oh, I was going to say um, awesome day. Um, awesome day. Um, and I miss you guys so much. Bye, guys.